What's up guys, it's Joker here coming with you another tutorial and this time it's going to be a scope effect tutorial so I've done a scope effect tutorial before but it was just like a simple scope I'll show you how to do kind of like a little fix in this one so kind of um, a little raise or something like that but I'll show you what I'm meaning to say like what I'm trying to explain uh, if I can try and find it in one of my folders so um, let's say my latest edit from the OCC so like about right here so this kind of scope effect, I'll show you how to do, and uh, also I'll try and find ways that uh, what else like kind of scope effects that you can do. Um, so anyway, we're going to start with like doing this kind of raise at the moment. But yeah, uh, so what you got to do is get your clip, obviously. Uh, you got your song. Choose whereabouts of the song. So I'm just going to choose where it is actually. So about here. About here. So uh, I think my thing is a bit too loud. I've got no idea. Okay, it's a little bit. But anyway, that's how I'm gonna do it. So this is gonna be the scope. So when it goes out, and uh, I'm gonna try and find the bit of this like clip. Okay, so that's about there. So this is like a triple collat. Okay, so let's go about. Just cut it there. Velocity it. So. Uh, now nah, too too early. Too, too. Okay, right. I'm gonna voss it up so you can find this scope. Okay, if he is scoping really long, it'd be very helpful, like to do because it then you can see the, like the um image in the background when you do the scope effect move. But uh, this one is not long enough, so I'm just gonna go just to zero. So it just stops. Okay. But anyway, it doesn't matter about that. But uh, yeah, so let's go forward up. So when he shoots, so if he doesn't shoot there, just cut it, guys. Just go about here. So there we go. So we'll look at those. So there you go. Um, the song will be in the description guys so don't worry if you can't like you're trying to go in the comment section saying oh what's the song and that it'd be in the description so I have used this song before you guys might have noticed or some of you guys who are new to the channel have not but yeah um, let's start with the scope effect so it's gonna start there so cut that bit by pressing S I think you know how to do that um, get your pan and crop out so that's a little thing out there and uh, go to masking and uh, I would use this oval thing so it's like you can drag it out and it's like really small like it'd be basically a perfect circle but um, and also there we go and then I'll put the feather to both and then put it to about like need six or five whatever you want to do so it's not like it is perfect but then it's not doesn't matter but um, but now you've got that done, you can actually just do the scope animation right now. So leave it as out that and then go one oh wait, oops, oopsie. Go to one, two, three, four, five. Five? Yeah, the five would do. And then go out a little bit. Uh just go about only a little bit here. So you can actually still see the scope, not like over that far away and it's a bit too far. Um, let's go about there and then just go all the way to the end and then right click restore so it just goes back to normal um, so what you're gonna do is now uh, with the keyframes so you right click one of the keyframes frames and put it to slow and then put that one to fast and this one to fast so now that will be really 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 smooth So if you want that to go further out more, just go to that keyframe and go out a little bit more like that. So it'll look like this. So it looks really, really smooth. So now for the like the best bit to do for this scope, so um, hold control on your keyboard and then drag this down. So it just basically does another copy. So you got another like another copy of the same scope, and then you can do it again. So you got that one. I'll tell you guys what that bottom one does in a minute. So 
let's do this second one and then you go to the effects panel and you go all the way to the end so it'll be a sapphire plugin and um, that's that's what the plugins are guys it's really easy to find sapphire plugins download so you just type it in YouTube you'll find it straight away but you just press add s rays press ok and this might lag on your computer or not I don't know but it sometimes lags for me but when I load a preset so it's basically a preset I didn't make this myself and when I did it on the montage it looks awesome but I use this toxic light and then that basically puts it behind so there you go whatever you want guys make it, make it higher whatever you want so that's how I do like the kind of really cool glow of the rays and uh, yeah that's that's basically how I do it and then how to get the background this is what the third one does here so what you're gonna do you're gonna go back to the camp pan and crop you're gonna highlight these press delete so it's normal and then what you're going to do is zoom it in, go about here, go to the end, one, two, three, four, five, go forward like that, and then go back to the end, and then press, um, oh, not press, sorry, you just basically put it back to where it was. So if you if make it easier, guys, you just copy this one, uh, delete this keyframe here, and then just paste it. So it's the same kind of like where it was. So what you're going to do, you're going to do the same thing. Just put that slow. And these two here, fast. So um, there you go. So this is basically what it looks like if I pre-render by pressing Shift B. A lot of people got confused what I was saying, like how to do pre-render. So Shift B with butts or something. Yeah. So yeah, that's how you do it. That's basically, yeah, basically how you do it. Then um, to make it much nicer for the background and the bottom, so like the the this layer back in the background, go to the effects panel and if you have blur, any blur you can use. I normally use just different blur from like um, it's just called blur. <laughs> Don't know why, but there's different kinds of plugins you blurs like Sony plugins and stuff. You can do whatever you want, but I'm gonna put it to pretty high about there. And then I just pre-render it by Shift B again, guys. And then there you go. That is how you do the rays of kind of like effects of of scope effect. It's really really easy. There you go. It's not bad. It's very very easy. And also, I want to show you guys just one more effect. Basically, what you can do on a scope effect. So. Now I'm just going to delete this layer. No, 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 no! Don't delete that layer. I'm trying to remember how to do it. <laughs> um, just this layer down here. So you guys wanted like how to put like a kind of watery effect in the background. So let me put the blur back out. So you're still going to use those layers. They'll be fine. And we're going to go to the effects panel, and we're going to go back to the sapphire kind of plugins. So what I was gonna say is use Kaleido Polar. There's a very, very good effect I used to use a lot. And then basically it does that. It's really, really cool. Really cool. And um, so what you're gonna do is basically keyframe it. So you're gonna go about, oh, like back to where it was, one, two, three, four, five, whatever it was. And then go forward like this. It makes a really cool kind of like, um, like say like if you're going to go to like a warp space or something and then you're going to go back to it and then you're going to go to uh, back to 1000 and basically that's how you get the kind of really cool pattern effect in the background you can also rotate it in that um, I'll show you in a second when it's finished re rendering so here you go You can make it faster, but I want to show you the rotation in a minute first. So the rotation should be here. So if you keyframe it, just go like that, just a little bit, like just forward, put it all the way to the end. Just put it on the end and just make it move like a spin, like that. It's really cool. 
But yeah, that's how you do that effect, and uh, I'll show you how to do make it really fast because it looks just really dull at the moment. So yeah, um, what you're gonna do for make it faster? You're just gonna go about here, and you're gonna go keyframe that, make it faster, go like that, and then there you go, and then you go put it back to zero. I think that's how you do it. I haven't done this effect for a while, but you guys can, have, you know, experiment how to do the effect. And that's also I've also left the rays on there. That looks really cool. And uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that is basically how I do like really cool scope effects. You can do other things, guys. Just experiment on whatever you want. But yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial I did today, and it's a little bit like you guys have been waiting for this for ages. I just waited for the right time that I don't use the effects anymore. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any suggestions and more tutorials, go comment but down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you later. Once when we were young, didn't care at all. Wish I could go back, back when we were young.